It's been 10 years since the iGEM competition first started making revolutionary discoveries in the field of synthetic biology. Year after year, we've seen teams push E. coli to its limits, engineering novel chromoproteins and biosynthetic pathways. E. coli is great with its unparalleled characterization and lightning fast doubling time. But millions of other strains of bacteria and plants have incredible naturally occurring properties that are being overlooked just because of a lack of characterization. The Penn iGEM team identified a problem heavy metal contamination in bodies of water. Although many iGEM teams have tackled similar problems with bioremediating bacteria, using their engineered strains runs the risk of disrupting natural ecosystems throughout competition of species and horizontal gene transfer. We wanted to leverage the biological diversity of a less characterized strain to address those concerns. First discovered in 1975, Magnetospirulum gum AMP1 has the ability to synthesize magnetite nanoparticles in an organelle named magnetism. These unique structures allow AMP1 to align themselves in the magnetic field. Because of this, researchers have seen the potential to use AMP1 for determination of the magnetic pole, enzyme immobilization, and introduction of genes into cells using DNA shotgun. This trait has also made AMB1 the natural choice for us to make a comprehensive bioremediation tool that can remove both the contamination and the engineered organism. As we set out to explore AMB1's suitability as a chassis for bioremediation applications, we ran into a few obstacles. While 10 years of iGEM has built a straightforward, rapidly growing registry of genetic parts, there isn't a comparable, established, easily accessible registry for chassis. The iGEM database only has a limited characterization of several uncommon organisms with some vague growth and transformation protocols, but we are forgetting that before we can do synthetic biology on an organism, we need to know that organism's biology. We took every obstacle as an opportunity to open this new strain up to iGEM and the synthetic biology community. By the end, we began to develop a toolkit of information and protocols to better understand AMP1's biology and facilitate its use as a chassis. From trend lines converting OD to cell concentration to shortening colony formation time from 7 to 2 days, we wanted to make the use of magnetic bacteria plug and play for the future of synthetic biology. We also explored the strain's viability for applications in bioremediation by comparing its heavy metal tolerance to that of various E. coli strains and compiling measurements to make this bacterium's magnetic properties quantifiable. E. coli has had its 15 seconds, or rather 10 years of fame. It's time for synthetic biology to encourage its researchers to leverage the biological diversity of different bacterial and plant species and make them easier to use. We propose a strain spec sheet that will break down the microbial and molecular coding techniques necessary for using a species for synthetic biology. We hope to compile a collection of strain spec sheets through collaboration with other teams that have also undertaken the challenge of using unconventional chassis. The Penn iGEM team set out to make a better bioremediation tool with magnetotactic bacteria that are capable of simplified retrieval. With the knowledge we gained while working towards this goal with this unique chassis, we set the stage for teams to search for solutions to their problems from millions of unexplored approaches.